Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I just wanted to come on and talk with you all about this beautiful girl here. Her name is Emily. She's my daughter, and I'm going to show you what she looks like so you know who I'm referring to. This is Emily. So the reason why I'm coming on is I had read out a word by Miss Sophie the other day, and I noticed... Uh, in the word that she was given that the Lord was saying how he does speak to all of us. He speaks to us when we're sleeping. He speaks to us through his word, through signs, through messengers. Uh, he will use messengers to give us a word. He will use different modes of communication so that we know he is trying to speak with us. And so I just wanted to come on here and share with you uh, one of those ways that he has done this with me and he has used my daughter to do so. Sometimes I'm not always paying attention when he's telling me something because a lot of times we think that when, when we're thinking something that it's us but that could very well be the Lord speaking to us. We're just not always listening to what he's saying. So... I want to start off by sharing how uh, when I first started coming back and really getting into digging into the Bible and reading the Word, he just really abruptly woke me up and uh, called me back. And he was uh, using my daughter to give me scriptures and she would just abruptly come up to me and say, oh, God says to look at in this book this chapter and this verse and I'm like really and I thought it was kind of weird that he was using her to tell me this but I guess I just wasn't always paying attention and I have to be honest with you all when Emily several times would come to me and give me messages from the Lord I I questioned it I was like is she really hearing from you Lord like can I really trust that you're talking to my daughter and and I can trust that she's really hearing this and anyway I believe that he did tell me yes I can but of course that is me thinking it's just my thoughts and of course I want to believe that my daughter's hearing from the Lord so he showed me in such a way that there would leave no question or no doubt and it was amazing so I was here at home by myself, nobody else was in the house. Emily was at a girlfriend's house and she was gone all day, didn't get home till later on in the evening. My husband was out of town working and he he was already gone for a couple few days and my son wasn't home either. I can't remember if he was at work or, or at his friend's house. But I was just me. I was here by myself at home. And I I had a shower and I was brushing my hair after I was out of the shower. And I was just in my room and I was thinking in my head. I was talking to the Lord in my head. And I was looking at my hair. I was brushing and I thought, oh, should I cut my hair, Lord? What do you think? Should I layer it? Should I cut it like shoulder length? And, you know, I was just imagining it and picturing it in my head what I should do with my hair and of course silly me I got the answer but I thought it was just me arguing with myself about it and I didn't really pay much more time or attention to it afterwards so the rest of the day I was most likely doing housework like I usually do and later on that evening Emily came home and she was sitting at our dining room table and I went out into the kitchen area at the island in the middle of our kitchen and I was standing there and Emily just abruptly says, Mom, he said don't do it. And, and I'm like, who said don't do what? What are you talking about? And then she said, oh, God said don't cut your hair. And I swear, honestly, if my mouth could have hit the floor, it would have. I was like, what? What did you just say to me? I was blown away. There was no way, everyone, 
no possible way that my daughter could know this. No way, because I only spoke it to him, to the Lord, in my head. There's no way she could have known this. I'd even forgotten about it till she brought it up again. And so I was like, what? <laughs> really? Are you serious? And she's like, yeah, he was telling me this at my girlfriend's. He was saying, yeah, don't cut your hair. And she's like, I'm not cutting my hair. This is what she told me. And I'm like, really? That's so... This is crazy. And then, of course, he kind of told her something that I was asking him. He told her that I wasn't sure if he was talking to her, if she was actually really hearing from him. So she said that to me. She's like, he says you weren't sure if I was actually hearing from him. And I'm like, oh, you tattletale, like looking up. Like he, he told on me to my daughter that I was questioning whether she really heard from him. So I thought he was a turkey for doing that. But yeah, I just want to put it out there that, that God will always find a way to answer our questions and he will always find a way to make sure that we know he's there and that he is listening and he is speaking to us. We just need to listen we need to pay attention, and, and myself, I still need to do this. Sometimes I take what he's speaking to me as my own thoughts. And so I just, I just want to put that out there and, and let you all know that, that he is there. He really, he really does, you know, take everything that we say to him, even something as insignificant to me as cutting my hair. And obviously from one of the videos you all seen, I have not cut my hair. So it's really long. So I just I just wanted to put that out there and share that and give everyone encouragement that that the Lord is talking to us. He is talking to you. You may think he isn't, but he is. He really is speaking to us. We just need to pay attention and and know that if you're not listening, he will find a way to to let you know his answer. And yeah, in this case, he used my daughter. And not only did he use my daughter to tell me, no, don't cut your hair. But he also answered my question of, is my daughter really hearing from you? So he used that situation to let me know that yes, Emily is hearing from me. You can trust that. So anyway, I just, I hope that blesses all of you. I hope that's encouragement. And just realize and understand everyone that the Lord loves us so very much. He wants a relationship. He wants you to talk to him all the time. I do. I talk to him about everything. I talk to him about when I'm frustrated I talk to him about when I'm happy, when I see my grandson doing something that's really funny. I'll like point it out and say, did you see that? And, you know, just I bring him into everything and I just I have a conversation with him and and I just let him know my heart and how I feel about about things. And I sing and I, I I'll even find myself humming and and humming a tune in in my heart to him and I'm just like well, how did I come up with that it's really interesting how we find ways to converse with the Lord but he wants us to do that that is relationship he wants us to talk to him like we do our families like you would with your your husband or your wife or when you're talking to your children he wants that interaction and in fact he wants us to put him first ab above all even our own families he comes first because he's a jealous god right it says that in the scripture he wants our time and attention so so give that to him everyone talk to him tell him all your your troubles and your your burdens but give him all the good stuff too and praise him and thank him sing to him you know because because he's there he's listening and he sure 
he sure showed me with Emily that he's there and he is listening and that, yes, I'm going to find a way to make sure you're hearing me. So anyway, you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you next video or in the air. Bye-bye.